All right, so for trial number two, we're gonna be changing um, our variable this time. So this time, instead of changing the height, we are gonna change the ball. Um, and each one of these balls has a different mass. Remember, that's how much matter is inside of it. I've got three different balls here, one and different sizes and masses. First one, small, very small. I'm gonna drop them all from the same height. We're gonna see what happens. That one, Definitely went in pretty deep, but it doesn't leave a big crater. So that was ball number one. Goes in deep, small crater. Remember, we are making qualitative, not quantitative observations today. So we are talking about qualities like deep, big, small. Not really gonna bother too much with measuring. All right, so this is my next heaviest ball. It's also a lot bigger. So we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna drop it from about the same height. This one is about five times heavier. Definitely left a much bigger crater. But still didn't wipe out all my dinosaurs. Not quite. Now I'm gonna see this time. Well, no, we'll get, that'll be the bonus footage. All right, now last one, we're going back to my steel ball. Three. Two, one, boom. This one is the heaviest of all, and if you see, it definitely goes in the farthest. So, the relationship, I want you guys to try to guess what kind of a relationship there is between kinetic energy, mass, and speed. Um, I do want you to remember that the higher I drop something from, just for right now, don't need to know why, but the higher I drop something from, the more speed it's gonna pick up. And just as bonus footage, got Mr. Dilophosaurus here. He's looking up at the sky. He's like, where's all this stuff coming from? Ah! I almost got him. All right, let's see. Ooh, almost. Hit a meteor with a meteor. Oh, got him. Dead. Ah! Ah, dinosaurs. This is 65 million years ago. They're all dead. Ah, dinosaur destruction!